boxes all Eight, locked five, up. They look seven, like they're ready to go. Six, Got the big wheel spinner of Star four, Childs three, and uh, two, one, vertical, uh, fight, vertical spinner of Azula. Oh, wow. Nice little dance there at the beginning of the fight from Star Child as they were trying to get around and get towards Vespula. Vespula is such a fast and tight, compact little bot. It's going to be hard for Star Child to get a good hit on them. You're really going to have to time that, that, that whacking vertical spinner. Wow, that was impressive. They did a full spin around as Vespula lifted them up on that one wheel. The weapon went all the way to 360 degrees around the bot. Vespula doing a great job keeping to the side of, uh, of Star Child. Not oh, I think I see a belt for that on weapon. Star Child. I think you might be right. Yeah, the weapon belt is hanging off there a little bit. Oh, no. Brandon said it earlier. If my belt is, or if my weapon's spinning, I've got a great chance of winning. If it's not, it's much harder for me. He's at a point right now where that's looking uh, more and more impossible in this match. Vespula is such a devastating robot. Powerful little weapon on that bot. But the real advantage of that bot is its drivetrain. It's so fast. 90 seconds left in the match. Sure those uh, I'm sure that the, the teeth on that uh, on that egg beater drum of Vespula is, is chewing away somewhat on the wheels of Star Child. Just, it's just not enough though to really show a no. lot of visible damage. No, that is the big advantage of these big wheeled robots. There's just nothing to hit. Yeah, and then when you do hit, sometimes it just moves out of the way. Yeah, it just bounces <laughs> away. Just bounces away on you. Forty seconds left in the match. Wow. Nice little pop from Vespula there. And it seems as though they've really got Star Child's number at this point in the match. They know how to get to those sides, pop those wheels up, give Star Child a little bit of air. All right. All right, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of this fight. This one will go to the judges. Brandon showing that his bot is still driving and functional, having a great time. And he's uh, giving a little push, giving a little push over there. Letting Brett know that that's not really his box. <laughs> <laughs> Brett gets very rowdy. I love it. Brett got uh, slightly angry at Brandon there. <laughs> All right, let's go on over to Lindsay and see what's going on in social media. All right, so while we wait for that judge judge's decision, we have a super chat from YouTube uh, user The Boopster, <laughs> uh, who says, I just need more Prem Hada in my life. Heckums, yeah, baby. <laughs> and I think that we have Prem Hada lined up with Katie. So let me throw it over to you. We absolutely do. And the reaction when he was seeing and hearing that, priceless. What's it all about? Um, I really... The, the comment there uh, that is actually one of my best friends I talk to him every day like just seeing stuff like that's what kind of makes it fun how special is it to know that those kinds of people are out supporting you here today so I, there's certain people that I just like know that they're my biggest fans and like I at this point like I do it to put on a show for them like I enjoy what I do but it's more a show for them anymore so today then, the show that you've been putting on one round so far, <laughs> what, what is the rest of the day entailing for you, if it were up to you? Uh, a lot of nervousness to see what happens yeah. between uh, Bobby and uh, Kittmans. 
That's terrifying as a builder. Just saying, to know that that's going to happen. And then if everything works out perfectly on the other side of the bracket, to fight the man who kind of trained me. That kind of trained you. Uh, Don Dorfor is the origi my original teacher for to get into the sport. And then his little brother, Joe Dorfor, which was also trained by Don, is the two people that I have to say are the reason I still compete. That gave me chills. Oh, Lindsay, earlier it. you were talking about tearing up a little bit when the autographs were happening with the boys in the booth. That gave me a little bit of chills too. I love that. Yeah, I mean, it just shows you this isn't an individual sport. This is a, 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 a sport for people who have whole teams of people behind them, whether they are people supporting them technically or emotionally or just cheering them on. So it's it's such a nice feeling. But um, so we, we have another super chat from Ty Little, who says, with the new 30 pound arena, you're going to need another brick bot. I vote we name it Bort the Brick. So I don't know how you feel about that, but uh, maybe uh, we can workshop that a little. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, I feel a little confused by that because, you know, the 30 pound the house bot naming convention is a little different. We have Fluffy. Mm. It'd be a little weird to have Fluffy and Bort. Maybe Fluffy and Squishy? Oh, that's not bad. I kind of like Squishy. How about Squishy Bort? <laughs> that sounds like uh, like like bad Russian food. <laughs> All right, we're here with the judges. And uh, uh, leading off, here we have Matt Spurk here is wearing another hat. Uh, he's got an octopus today. All right. I love uh, it. These things happen. <laughs> Wow, unanimous decision for Vespula. Uh, and Jack, you awarded